Joining me is Maya Moore of the Minnesota Lynx. Uh, Maya, this time around, you didn't have to go too far to play in this All-Star game. Yeah, just down the road. It's been nice to uh, be able to host and, and have things uh, right here at home for everybody to enjoy, and, and uh, hopefully the players are enjoying it. Now, you had to forego the captaincy and some other events, so just tell me, what were some of the responsibilities you and the Lynx had to engage in to host this event? Oh, well, I can't speak to everything, but, you know, some of our staff and, and some of the people that help us do what we do during the season are doubling it up and making it uh, a really f phenomenal event just that, that everybody is comfortable, has what they need, has clarity on what's going on, and uh, everything looks beautiful, and, um, you know, I'm sure the players feel it. Now, you've been at a few of these All-Star games over the years. Uh, what are your favorite memories, you know, going back to your first one in 2011? Just being able to hang out with, with everyone, um, getting a chance to spend some time off the court, doing uh, whether it's camps with kids, just hanging out on the bus, uh, at the hotel, having meals with players that, you know, we're trying to figure out how to beat them all season, but being able to be teammates um, uh, for, for a couple of days for 48 hours. And uh, those are probably some of my favorite moments. And then obviously some of the highlights that we'll, we'll create during the game are really fun. Speaking of, uh, we, we touched on this a little while ago, but you're going to go against two of your uh, teammates and Maya and Sill. You've got uh, Rebecca, or not Maya, Simone and Sill, because you haven't cloned yourself yet. And then, But you've got Rebecca, so uh, what's, been, what's the, been the chatter like leading up to this where you've got a two-on-two -two in a way? We haven't, we haven't had a lot of chatter, but Simone is notorious for chatter. So Trash talking. I'm, I'm anticipating Simone might get a little carried away. And I, you know, if I have my opportunity, I might have to do something about it. But we'll see. Nothing is set in stone yet. And over the years, how would you say you know, you've developed as a player and as a whole? How has this experience um, rubbed off on you coming here and getting a chance to get a taste of what the league has to offer? Yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, appreciative to be uh, playing well. You know, that's what being an all-star, like you're playing well, you're at the, you know, at the top of your game. Um, and just, you know, watching some of the young ones, the first-timers, uh, seeing their experience, trying to help them have a good time, and more just enjoying the moment. Of course, you've been in several of these, but for tomorrow, who are you excited to play alongside with? Um, you know, we were talking about the fact that some of the East Coast folks, um, you know, I got Allie on my team, instead of having to figure out how to chase her around screens, you know, I'll get to pass it to her coming off of the screen. So watching her, her shoot that ball, that was, she does so well. So uh, I'm sure we'll have a, some fun doing that tomorrow. So are you going to see an assist record out of you tomorrow? Possibly. There's a good chance. There are a lot of, a lot of capable shooters. Yeah. And plenty of opportunities, I take it. You want to say hi to anybody? Hey, everybody, Minnesota, worldwide. Wherever you are, if you're a Lynx fan, what's going on? <laughs> All right, well, you'll catch Maya's dimes or points or rebounds, whatever she's doing tomorrow at Target Center.